Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Monster Hunter video. So in today's video, we have a new event to take a look at. Um, it is called the Monster of the Year 2021. And basically, it's kind of uh, similar to the Don Canine one, where you had to like vote for him with gold. Um, I'm going to explain everything that you need to know about this new event. And on top of that, I'm also going to let you guys know if any of the offers are worth it. There's a Dark Voltaic offer, Lord Inheritor, and so on. So I'll go ahead and let you guys know everything you need to know, uh, whether it's worth it and whether you should just save your money. So I hope you guys are excited for today's video. If you are, Smash like button, subscribe, channel, subscribe, son. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys. So this event will last for about six days in total. Right now, the time I'm recording this, there's about five days and 16 hours remaining. But take a look at this. Um, it says, welcome to the first monster of the year contest. Start voting now. During the contest, if you purchase any of the featured monsters, you'll receive a monster of the year token, which will grant you 10 gems a day for 10 days. That's about 100 gems. So not you're, you're not only obtaining the monster, but you're also obtaining about, 100 gems if you just log in every day you just keep getting that over and over again um in a row and then the, once the contest is over so do you already have all the five contenders amazing in that case the token is on the house you'll receive it automatically in your storage don't forget to come every day and claim them from a news pop-up like this one if you don't want to miss out on your 100 gems for every token you obtain so yeah in total you'll be obtaining 100 gems uh for those of you that don't have it you can go ahead and purchase a monster i'll go ahead and let you guys know which ones are worth it and which ones aren't um but let me actually check my sword right now it should be in here no um so i only see these tokens maybe it'll come tomorrow um because i actually have all those monsters already literally all five or six of them there is i have all of them so it's already going to be available tomorrow if not most likely after the event is over like I mentioned. Okay, so here's the thing. Uh, when you log in uh, on this right section of the game, just go ahead and scroll up um, and then you'll see the little gold icons and then it's going to say Monster of the Year. So just go ahead and tap on it and look at this. Monster of the Year, vote for your favorite monsters of 2021. So there's Super Dream, there's Dark Voltic, Pure Panda, Lord Nevatos, and Lord Inheritor. They made this little short post. I'm not sure if they actually have it on their Instagram. We can go ahead and take a look at this real quick. Um, did they actually post it in here? I don't think they did. Okay, I don't see it in here, all right? But, um, you remember this post? <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, um, they sort of made like a little small post on their Facebook. It wasn't really on their Instagram. It was Facebook and also Twitter, if I'm not mistaken. And so um, it was like a little survey that you had to take and you had to like vote for your favorite monster um, to basically be in the monster of the year. And so... I voted for UV Fusion, I believe it was. It was either UV Fusion or Slumster, one of those two. Uh, but it looks like none of them actually made it in here. The only ones that really made it were these one, two, three, four, five. Okay, these five monsters in here, basically. Um, so Super Dream, I mean, we're not surprised. Lots of um, Dream fans actually ended up downloading the game after they got sponsored. So he actually made it to the Monster of the Year. Then we have Dark Voltic, one of the best extra attackers and one of the best looking monsters as well like look at the design it's really cool pure panda one of the best free-to-play monsters right so i'm not surprised i made it here either and same with lord nevatos remember when lord nevatos was like literally the best attacker uh it was like so p back in the crook today um so that's pretty cool they made uh he actually made it in here as well and last but not least lord inherited the most powerful monster in the game so like this is pretty cool right like they ended up adding him as well so what i personally think um, is going to win out of all these five monsters well most likely going to be either lord and inheritor dark voltic or super dream you want to know why super dream because once again lots and lots of um players ended up downloading the game because of super dream sponsor right uh when dream got sponsored so we have lots and lots of players that uh played the game because when he got sponsored they downloaded the game and they went ahead and voted for super dream so that's that um i feel like that might actually win but then we also have these four monsters, which are very, very meta. And I'm sure many and many, uh, if not all um, players that like play this game competitively will definitely vote for one of these four monsters, especially Lord Inheritor, Lord Nebesos, and Dark Bolton. Maybe Pure Panda too. I mean, Pure Panda is still meta, you know, pretty good evasion, status capture. Uh, but I think what I'll do is I'll go ahead and give some gold to Dark Voltic. And basically, it's just going to stay at 1 million every time you want to vote for a specific monster. So it's not like it's going to increase over time. Kind of like when you purchase some cells in the shop here. So for example, right now it says 9k. And when you keep spending gold, look at this. Wait for it. Look at that. 17k and then so on, right? It just keeps increasing. But anyways, what I'm going to do is I'm going to donate some to Lord Inheritor. Okay, I'll just go ahead and give in 2 million to Lord Inheritor. Uh, for Pure Panda, I'll give in... A few million because he's been cool you know i've been using him a lot 
in wars. Lord Nebatos, I'm gonna give you a lot. You wanna know why? You wanna know why I give Lord Nebatos so much? Um, he won me um, Legendary Leader in my other account, remember? In PvP, a long time ago, back in the Crypto days. So yeah, he deserves a lot. Dark Voltic, I really like his design. Um, pretty cool extra turner, pretty good extra turner as well. So like, we're just gonna go ahead and give him some as well. But Lord Lord Nebatos more. Um, but I'm gonna, I'm personally gonna vote for these two monsters. I think one of them are gonna win. I'm pretty sure the Super Dream will most likely win as well. Um, I already explained why, but yeah. So this is cool. Um, if you want to vote, you can. You don't have to, but I recommend just giving in just one million because at the end of the event, the players will end up getting some type of reward for sure. Uh, kind of like what happened in Don Cannon event, right? Um, but I don't recommend spending all your gold. That's one thing I do recommend not doing, okay? Because that's kind of what I did with the Don Cannon event, and you guys saw how it turned out, right? I spent like 30 billion gold, which was a lot, right? And I was only left with a few billion left. And um, everybody got the same exact rewards, so I don't recommend spending all your golds, once again. Just give in like one or two million the most. If you want to give in more, you can, but I don't recommend giving all, okay? Uh, but anyways, so with all that being said, um if you go ahead and head over to the portal this is going to be easier so just head over to the portal scroll to the right and you'll end up seeing these combo packs and this is what they were talking about these combo packs right so for example lord inheritor uh, if you want to purchase lord inheritor's egg just egg it's not going to be ranked up and monster of the year token it's going to cost you 25 dollars. so is this worth it i mean honestly this monster is pretty good i'd say Here's the thing, you could have been able to get this monster at rank 3 when uh, his Legends Pass was around, right? Like the first Legends Pass, which was Lord Inheritor. Um, but like, is this really worth it? On, on top of that, you're also getting 100 gems every day. Not really every day, but like by the end of the event, 100 gems in total because of the token. So I'd say pick it up if you want. I, I, I'd say sure. But $25, I feel like that's a, that's a bit too much. Uh, they kind of overpriced that. Maybe it should have been like $15 the most, honestly. Um, but yeah, if you want to pick it up, I'd say go for it, you know. Uh, Super Dream, I don't really recommend picking this up at all, guys. Uh, the monster is not really good in the meta right now. But if you're just a huge fan of Super Dream, then go for it. But again, not really good in the current meta. Dark Voltic is really good, actually. So this for $20, you can pick it up if you want. It's... Not bad. $15 for Lord Nevitos. The monster is not bad. Let me tell you. The monster is still good. But there are better attackers now. You know, better inspiration attackers. So it's up to you if you want to pick this up. Pure Panda. This monster is still good. I do recommend picking this up. So $15, it's worth it. Especially if you're going to max it out. Because rank 5, status caster evasion to everybody. It's really, really good. So it's really good in team wars. PvP, especially. So um, yeah. You can go ahead and pick up the ones that I told you to pick up and don't pick up the ones I told you not to pick up because it's going to be a waste of money, all right? Uh, but if you want to pick them all up, go for it. Uh, there's also this little offer in the game right now for Garn Excel, $100, you know. If you don't have Garn Excel already, I do recommend picking this up if you can because you'll be getting a rank 3 Garn Excel, right? Uh, Mega Taunt, and then on top of that, 2,700 gems, uh, which will basically pay off for all the... Thing that you spent so for example right now without a discount 1700 gems equals to a hundred dollars so you're almost getting like double the amount or so um there all there's also these rune offers if you want to pick those up it's going to help you out um and last but not least i also wanted to talk about this other offer that's going on right now in the game where, where the heck is it it was somewhere around here um let me see if i could actually find it but yeah okay there is that oh yeah look at this one this one's pretty interesting so for two, I don't really recommend doing this one, honestly. $25. I'd rather just pick up the other one, the ones that gives you up to 10, the one that I mentioned earlier. So just go ahead and do that. Um, but there's also this little New Year's resolution challenge. I'm not sure if you guys seen this, but look obtain resolution tokens at the marathon, maze, seasonal chests, and breeding events. These resolution tokens will help you advance through this time challenge where you'll get special rewards for reaching milestones so you can get 50 of them right once you get 50 of them you'll get one of these chests here um 100 of them will equal to two 250 will equal to five chests and basically so on to up to a thousand which will give you uh which will eventually give you like um 100 gems now for the new year's resolution tokens you should have gotten um some chests yesterday for free uh they ended up giving them 
yesterday for free once again uh the new year's resolution chest they give you up to three of them and that'll basically reward you with 10 new year's resolution tokens every time right so if we go ahead and open one of them up we get 15 elementiums from one of them and then 10 of those tokens we're gonna go ahead and open up the other two hopefully we get something good out of them let's see uh three nebulas and 20 resolution tokens with three metagamers so not the best thing but i'm so thankful you know so that just give us 30 of those tokens in total and so once again every chest will give you up to 10 and um yeah there is breeding events seasonal chests mazes and also marathons but anyways guys that's going to be pretty much it for today's monster gens video i hope you guys did enjoy and i hope you found it helpful and if you did drop a like subscribe to your channel share this with any of your friends that plays monster gens and i'll see you guys on the next one peace out